I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. I'm here this week uh, on FTTV with our Furniture Today staff, at least one member of which is traveling. Next week, we'll have Cindy Hodnett back from Italy with a report on her travels there. Uh, right now, we're all in the middle. If you look around, you can see the piles of photos from Best of Market, where our editors are going through all of the great new products that uh, we saw at High Point. So let's just go around the table and get a sense of what's going on in the furniture industry this week. Mr. Russell. Last Thursday, market officially closed, but since then, we've been busy picking out selections for our best of market edition. And as you, many of you know, we get a lot of submissions from a lot of different companies, but we try to be representative of some of the, some of the things that we saw at market that were good stories. There was a lot of mixed media in case goods, a lot of wood and metal, a lot of uh, metal and, and glass, top tables, a lot of mirror accents and the like, and also some custom finisher stories such as those that were offered by Stickley, which is partnering with a number of uh, paint companies to offer any color of the rainbow to tie into your room setting. So a lot of good stuff to look forward to. In, in addition to the uh, best of market features, I'm working on a very interesting story about uh, Temper Sealy, which is the world's largest bedding producer. Uh, Temper Sealy's largest stockholder has launched a proxy battle, and they're trying to convince other shareholders to vote out the CEO, the chairman of the board, and one other board member. The, uh, the stockholder is, uh, is an investment firm in New York called H Partners, and they've been very dissatisfied with Temper Sealy's performance, particularly since 2012. And so they believe it's time for a management change. And um, several, uh, at least one other major stockholder has said that they will go along with H Partners and a couple of firms that are what are called proxy advisory groups, which are groups that advise large investment companies on how to vote on these things. They've come out in support of the H Partners proposal. So even though proxy fights are very difficult for shareholders to win, there's some thinking that this could be close. And uh, the, the final vote will be taken on May 8th, which is the date of Temper Sealy's annual meeting in Boston. So tempers flaring. Tempers are flaring, yes. That, that's, that's very true. You know, we're, we're coming out of market, but we have to look at what's going on elsewhere in the industry. And uh, believe it or not, back on the West Coast, we have a trucker strike, and um, these guys are looking to um, get recognition as um, regular employees at the um, trade companies they serve, and um, it's um, still ongoing, so that's what I'm watching. Now, logistics is a very big issue for the industry, isn't it? And we have something going on now. Yes, we do, Bill. Um, it would be our logistics conference that's um, coming up on June 2nd through 3rd in Charlotte. And um, i tell you what, if um, one year has shown what this means, you know, what the, what the um, A to Z, um, you know, getting, getting product to um, where it needs to be um, is important to the industry, this is it. I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today. Late in the day, wishing you good business.